Many here witness the bloodshed. Today, they pray for the dead. As Tucson remembers the victims, we're examining the torture of students. We know more about the suspect. Thank you. This is Jerry. This is believed to be the voice of Jared Lee Locker, a rambling tirade recorded at Pima Community College months before the shooting. This is my genocide school. <laughs> or I'm going to be homeless because of the school. When you're looking at this video by Jared Lockman, you're looking at someone who appears to be in the midst of a mental breakdown. The YouTube clip is the latest piece of evidence gathered by investigators. It comes as they release the suspect's timeline before the rampage. November 30th, they say Lockner bought a Glock 9mm handgun. January 7th, a roll of film is dropped off at a Tucson Walgreens. The day of the shooting, just after midnight, Lockner checks into a motel. At 4 a.m., he writes goodbye friends on a social networking website. Three hours later, ammunition and a bag are bought at a Walmart. Then, just before 10 a.m., Jared Lee Locker takes a cab to Safeway. There's multiple people shot. 19 would be shot at this suburban strip mall, six killed. Today, the funeral for Phyllis Schneck, the 79-year-old great-grandmother who spent winters in Arizona. Across town at University Medical Center, where hundreds gathered today, Jim Tucker was discharged. Two were in good condition. Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, believed to be the target of the gunman, is now off a respirator, but remains I in good condition. I think he's tired. Looks like he's getting tired. The outside of the hospital grows each day. Quite a play session they're having. I know. Have you done this yet before? Not to this point. The best ever. But for some, a closer connection. This is where lives were lost, and where a community <laughs> tries so to So cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And tonight, a steady stream of people have come to this memorial. It will be some time until things return to normal, but that's exactly what many are trying to do tonight, Lester. Miguel Almaguer in Tucson, thanks. The first medics to arrive at the scene of last Saturday's shooting are now publicly telling their stories and of the race to save lives. NBC's Lee Cowan has that. Oh, it was Station 33, less than three miles from that safe way, that got the call first. <laughs> I really love it. Paramedic Tony Campagna was just two hours into his shift. All that stuff was chaos, uh, lots of people moving around, uh, people on the ground. Uh, I mean, right now, when I got up there, my mind went a little blank for a while. It was shocking. He counted four dead right off the bat. <laughs> he had two priorities. First, Congresswoman Giffords. They all know where she was shot, and she was the only one with that kind of a, an injury that was alive. At her side, intern Daniel Hernandez told paramedic Colt Jackson he refused to leave. Okay, if you're going to stay on official work. Any helping hand was valuable. Attention then quickly turned to little nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green. CPR was underway, but her condition Tony feared was uh, not good. <laughs> Refusing to give up, he dispatched two other paramedics to Christina's son, who found themselves... Did she go under? Yeah. Own children back home. I think he was she winning. She couldn't win him. anymore. He'll go under. Obviously his bites hurt more than hers. Yeah. Minutes, She's very tolerant, though, of it. No. Okay. Not coming out? I don't know. Just ducking right there? Yeah. He went out here. There they are. In the middle but it is just that I've never seen her tail so high. Mm -hmm. But also with the families and those like when he does his army crawl, yeah. They've been playing for the past ten minutes. You, before you were when you were working, they played for just an hour. Look at them, they're so fell asleep. She fell asleep and he fell asleep. Are they both underneath it? Mm -hmm. They're both underneath it. Look at when he gets tired, she's just exhausted. Make it easy for most people to own and even carry a gun. You know what? They must have made a piece that he's in charge. Get him, Winnie! It should go on, and thousands turned out. Many of them talking about gun legislation. This is so great, though, isn't it? Oh, God.